Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 5.30 from Sadiku book. So the question is in the circuit shown in figure 5.68, find Ix and the power absorbed by 20 kilo ohm resistor. So we are asked to find out what is Ix and the power absorbed by this resistor here. Okay, we have an ideal of M here and let's remember some properties that will be useful for us to solve this problem. So we will have to remember an ideal of M properties. Okay, let's draw the of M first. We have this one like this and this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal here. And if the negative terminal is connected to the node A and the positive terminal is connected to the node B here, the voltage is the same. So the first property is Va is equal to Vb. Okay, that's good. This is the ideal of M property that we need to find out. We need to remember. And the current that goes into the op M in both terminal is also the same. So let's name this IA and let's name this IB. IA is equal to IB. So IA is equal to IB and both of them is zero ampere. Okay. And then if there is some current that goes from the op amp here, IC is not the same as IA plus IB. So, an op M is not a KCL node. KCL. Okay, that is good. And let's set this node here as our ground. So, this node here as our ground. So, the voltage here will be zero. And then this is 1.2 volt from the ground. So, this is 1.2. And this is connected to the positive terminal of the op amp. And that means that the node that connected to the negative terminal also have the same value. So this node here is also 1.2 volt. Okay. Because of the properties of this op amp here. Good. Now what can we do? is just do KCL at this node here. Let's name this node as Vx maybe because this is Ix, right? So I will have Vx here. Okay, assuming this is going there and this is going there and this is going down. So we can do KCL at Vx and then find out what is Ix is. So let's do exactly that. So here we can do KCL at Vx. KCL at Vx. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the only current that goes in is from that one. So I will have 1.2 minus Vx divided by 60 kilo. Okay, that's good. And that will equal to this current here, which is Vx divided by 30 kilo ohm. And then we will have Vx divided by 20. Okay, Vx divided by 20. Let's multiply all sides by 60 because they will be canceling all the denominator. 60 and 60 will cancel each other. So on the left hand side, I just have 1.2 min, 1 minus Vx. And then 30 and 60 will cancel into 2. So I will have 2 Vx. And here I will have 3 Vx. Okay, good. And now what can we do from here? I think I will continue it here. Okay, let's move this minus Vx to the right hand side. So I will have. 1.2 is equal to 2Vx plus 3Vx plus Vx. 
Okay, and that means that I will have 1.2 is equal to 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. So I will have 6 px. Okay, that means that I will have px is 1.2 divided by 6. Or px is equal to 0 0.2, but I'm not sure. So let's calculate it. Yeah, I think 0 0.2 is good, so I will have 0 0.24. Okay, that is an important value here. But then, we are asked about Ix. Okay, we are asked about Ix. Ix is just Vx divided by 20. So, Vx is 0 0.2. And then divided by 20. So that means that I will have 0 0.2 divided by 20. Okay, that I will have 0 0.01. And the unit will be milliampere here. Or we can just write Ix is just 10 micro. Okay. But we are not done yet. We have the power absorbed by this 20 kilo ohm resistor. So the power. I think for finding the power, that should be easy enough. So the power will be Vx multiplied by Ix, right? Vx is just 0 0.2. And then we will have Ix is 10 microwatt. So I will have that will be 2 micro the power and that is the final answer for this question so the ix is 10 microampere and then the power is 2 micro watt and i think that's all for this problem see you in the next video bye bye Nanti jam 4 ya.